Welcome to another video on operations management. This video will discuss another aspect of operations which is inventory management. Inventory could signal both negative and positive connotations in operations management. In this video, we will discuss aspects of inventory management, costs associated, and the implications for operations performance. So, without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing to do is to define what is meant by inventory in the context of operations management. In this video, we define inventory as stock. It is also the term used to describe the accumulations of materials, customers or information used in the operation processes. The term could also be used to describe transforming resources, such as hotel rooms, garage, buses in a bus hire firm or any equipment used to produce goods or render services to the final consumer. Inventory could likewise refer to the accumulation of physical materials such as components, parts, finished goods or information records. Now that we have defined inventory, it is useful to describe the relevance of inventory in the operations of an organization. The question that needs to be answered is why do organizations have inventory? For operations to run smoothly, a good level of inventory or stock must be available. High levels of inventory comes with advantages to both the operations and the customer. When inventory levels are low, it may inhibit the ability of the operations to deliver to customers. This increases the possibility of losing customers to competitors. However, keeping high levels of inventory also comes with disadvantages, because keeping inventory attracts costs, holds down capital, and could result in waste if stock is perishable. This is what we call the dilemma of inventory management. Where inventory guarantees smooth running of the operations, it may also increase the cost of the operations. This brings us to the main part of the video, inventory management. So how can an operation manage inventory in a way that ensures that operations run smoothly and accrued costs are kept to a minimum? Before discussing how to remedy the dilemma of inventory management, it is good to provide more explanation on the pros and cons of keeping inventory. So, what are the benefits of keeping a good level of inventory? 1. Inventory is a form of insurance for buffering the fluctuations in the demand and supply. It especially eliminates the issues relating to uncertainty. 2. It allows for the flexibility of operations in responding to demand. With adequate inventory, the operation can offer customers options and will be able to respond to the customization of demand from customers. However, to be able to do this, keeping a high level of inventory is required. 3. By keeping a high level of inventory, the operation can benefit from economies of scale that results from buying in bulk. This could in a way reduce the operating and average cost of operations. 4. Inventory allows the operations to balance capacity to demand. This is also helpful where demand is less predictable. Speaking of costs, there are disadvantages to keeping inventory. For example, keeping a high level of inventory is not suitable if the resources used by the operations are perishable. Inventorying this type of resource will result in waste and losses. Keeping inventory also requires space or a warehouse. Maintaining a warehouse costs money and time. The longer inventory is kept, the more storage cost is incurred, which eventually impacts on revenue. Apart from storage costs, there are also insurance and administrative costs that should be taken into consideration. It is also worth noting that keeping inventory ties up money in form of working capital. This money could be directed to other important aspects of the business to facilitate growth. Without such monies available, this might stunt the growth of the business. In sum, the costs associated with keeping inventory are working capital costs, costs of placing new orders, stock out costs, storage costs, and obsolescence costs for perishable stock. These costs could be encapsulated into two costs. These are inventory holding costs and inventory ordering costs. Where holding costs refer to the costs such as working capital, storage, and obsolescence costs associated with holding or keeping stock. Ordering costs refer to the costs associated with placing new orders or the costs of stockouts. The traditional method of inventory management ignores these costs. 
to illustrate, using a visual representation. At this point here, this shows what happens when new orders are being placed, a full inventory. This is represented by Q. This represents the number of items ordered or the inventory for a single item. In this case, it is assumed that demand is perfectly predictable. Demand over time will generally deplete inventory in a predictable pattern. This slope here represents the rate of demand and depletion rate of inventory. This point here represents the average level of inventory. When inventory level goes beyond this point, new orders are placed or an instantaneous delivery of new stock is triggered. This is the traditional or simplified inventory profile for one particular stock item. In reality, supply and demand are not entirely predictable and the operations manager must be able to balance between the advantages and disadvantages of holding and ordering stock. The method of doing this is called the economic order quantity approach otherwise known as EOQ. The EOQ method is illustrated here. The EOQ approach shows the relationship between costs and order quantity. The approach also aims to find the perfect inventory level that facilitate the smooth running of operations while keeping costs as low as possible. The holding and ordering costs are depicted in the illustration. The holding cost is depicted by a positive curve sloping upwards from left to right here. This is because the higher the amount of inventory kept, the higher the holding cost incurred and vice versa. As for ordering cost, this is depicted by the negative curve sloping downwards from left to right here. This is because the lower the inventory level, the more likely it is to incur ordering costs for new stock and vice versa. The point at which the holding cost and ordering cost curves intersects, is the point where the economic order quantity is achieved. At this point, in theory, the optimum level of inventory is maintained and all associated costs are kept at a minimum. To be able to use this approach, adequate data on costs and order quantities are required as this is a more advanced method of inventory management. This approach of using the EOQ to determining order quantity, optimum levels of holding and ordering stock has always been subjected to criticisms. For example this model have been criticized as being too simplistic as it does not consider the real costs of stock and that the model is overly descriptive. More so, the minimization of cost is seen as an inappropriate objective of inventory management. In a quick summary, what have we learned so far in this video on inventory management? Let's present a quick highlight. We defined inventory as stock. Inventory or stock is necessary and important to the smooth running of operations. We also discussed the dilemma of keeping inventory. Keeping too much comes with costs and keeping too low might lead to stock outs and loss of business. We summarized inventory costs to be ordering cost and holding cost. Where holding cost refers to storage, obsolescence, holding capital costs, ordering costs refers to the cost of placing new orders and stock outs. We introduced the approach of managing inventory to avoid these costs. This method is the economic order quantity approach. This approach aims to keep all inventory costs to a minimum and inventory quantity at the optimal level. We hope you have learned a few things about inventory management from this video. Are there any operations management concepts you like us to explain using our videos? Please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.